This morning, um, I want to challenge you. It's been on my heart for the past week, week and a half. My desire for me personally this morning, and I also deliver it out to you, is to fall in love with Jesus all over again. Or some of you may be falling in love with Jesus for the very first time. But no one, two or more are gathered. He's in the midst. And that brings me comfort and brings me great joy. So as we stand, let's go ahead and go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we are so grateful this morning that you woke us up. Lord, you didn't have to, but you did. Lord, that means that you have special purpose for our life today. And God, may we not miss an opportunity to seize that. But right now we come to you as a body of believers. Maybe those who are seeking. God, we lift up our hands to you. And we thank you so much. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here in camp. As we are empty vessels expecting to be filled up, offer worship back to you, Lord. And the word, God, allow us to soak on that. We thank you. In Jesus' name, amen.
church. Amen. Sing this with me. Everyone needs compassion, love that's never failing. Let mercy fall on me. Everyone needs forgiveness, the kindness of
My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. Amen. You may be seated. Well, good morning, church. Do you believe that? Do you believe that the same Jesus that conquered the grave is able to move mountains? I heard it out there. He says, if you have the faith the size of a mustard seed, how big's a mustard seed? Not real big. How big's your faith? Sometimes our faith isn't that big, is it? But Jesus says, just have a little bit of faith. In a big God, he'll do amazing things. Do you believe that God wants to do amazing things in this church? Do you believe God wants to do amazing things through your life? Oftentimes we will, when we make the journey to follow Christ, there's obstacles in the way. There's excuses. There's difficulty. There's mountains. Things that seem like it's too big. And I'm here to tell you it probably is too big. Have you ever heard the saying, God will never give you more than you can handle? It's not true. It's not true. God will absolutely give you more than you can handle to prove to you that he's big enough to handle it to prove to you that you need him, to bring you to that point where you're on your face before him saying, God, I can't bear it. I can't do it. The mountain's too big. God says, I know it is. It's too big for you, not big, too big for me. So the same Jesus that rose from the grave and conquered death is the same Jesus that moves mountains today. Do we have faith that he's going to move mountains? Do we have faith that he's big enough? So we want to celebrate this morning a big God who does big things through little people. A big God who does big things through weak people. So let's celebrate him this morning as we pray. Father, we thank you that you move mountains. We thank you that you rose and conquered the grave. God, we thank you for your faithfulness. God, I pray that in this moment we would just be struck once again with the power of a big God that can move mountains, that can change lives, that can, Lord, provide victory and freedom from sin. So, God, thank you for being strong when we're weak. Thank you for being big when we are small. God, I pray that in this moment, as we continue to worship, that we would lay aside all of the weights and all of the sins that so easily beset us, that we would once again fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, suffering our shame. That we would lay aside all of the cares and concerns and frustrations that this life brings our way and that in this moment, Father, our hearts would be bent toward worshiping you, making much of you and lifting up your name. God, it's about you and you alone. So give us a heart of worship now that we may worship you with genuine authenticity and that in that our affections for you would be stirred and that you would be lifted up and glorified. So bless our gathering this morning, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. As we stand, some of you may not know the story behind the song, Heart of Worship, written by an incredible man, world-renowned, worship leader, who was challenged by his pastor by saying this, are there things in your life that are hindering your worship? Do we focus too much on instruments? Do we focus too much on the way we sing, the style, the way we look, the appearance that it hinders our worship? So he challenged Matt Redman and they stripped the stage. So it's just voices only. 
And they went into a room with just their voices and their Bibles just to see if there was any hindrances, if there was things that were blocking the possibility of them truly, genuinely worship. And at first it was rough, but they got back to the point of the heart of worship, and that's where it is all about Jesus. That's why we sing the song. When the music fades and all is stripped away and I simply come Make it personal. Longing just to bring something that's worth that will bless your heart. I'll bring you more than a song for a song in itself is not what you have required. You search much deeper within through the way things appear. You're looking into my heart. I'm coming back. I'm coming back to the heart of worship. And it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I made. And it's all it's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you. It's all about you, Lord. King of endless work. King of endless work. No one could express how much you deserve.
we're so grateful for what you created, created in us. And we get to sing for your namesake. We used to. You stood before creation. Eternity in your hand. You spoke the earth into motion. My soul now stands. You stood before my failure. Carry the together.
Let's just do the chorus, just with the voices. I'll stand, just the chorus. I'll stand with arms high and heart abandoned. thank you for allowing us to worship you in spirit and in truth. In Jesus' name, amen, and you may be seated. Judge the wound. 